I'm just on my final ride on Banksy before packing my last few bits into my suitcase and then going to meet Sarah before we head up to badminton. It's Monday morning and Sarah's competing in the 90 in the grassroots championship. So we are leaving around midday and heading up there because I believe dressage will be Tuesday, possibly show jumping Tuesday afternoon and then cross country on the Wednesday. So super excited about that and helping support and groom for her. Now, believe it or not, last year was actually Sarah's first ever season competing BE. They only went and came second, I believe, at their first event in the BE90 at Bicton Arena. And then a few weeks later came first at Millfield. Bearing in mind, Sparkles is only 14-2 and I believe she's only seven, I think. And prior to this, she had only ever competed in British show jumping. So they had amazing results last season. I think they went on to qualify for grassroots at Dauncey Park at the end of the year at their regional final. So absolutely immense results from her last year. So I'm really excited to be going up and playing top groom and helping and supporting her. However, I went last year as groom as well. So by next year, I would really, 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 really like me and Banks to be there competing ourselves. So fingers crossed, we've got our regional final tickets. So we've got a 90 and a 100. So hopefully once we're back out on the circuit again, once Mr. gets a bit fitter, we stand a chance of qualifying, please, please, please. <laughs> it is the dream, it is the dream. However, I don't envy those that have qualified this year because with all the events being cancelled, it has been quite hard for them to get their runs in and get the eye back in the game. Badminton does seem very early on in the season. So I'm nearly home from my hack now. I'm gonna pack the last few bits together. I did start yesterday. I got some, some of my nicer clothes together ready for the end of the week. And I just need to get some of my horsey clothes together for whilst playing groom. Uh, I'm really confused by the weather. The forecast at the moment is like, showing torrential rain tomorrow and then by the end of the week it's showing like 20 degrees so <laughs> i'm packing for every occasion every weather situation so i was trying to travel light and it really isn't happening i actually feel like i'm taking more than if i was riding myself i'm really looking forward to visiting the stands of hi-ho obviously that goes without saying and mackenzie and george and fairfax and favor and visiting them and eyeing up all their new spring summer range I have a few items on my shopping list, one being one of the fedoras, I think could definitely need a hat. I'm a hat person and I live in baseball caps, but obviously at a nice event you can't go around in your baseball cap. So yeah, I'm eyeing up one of those, not sure which colour to go for though, there are so many. I need to get a necklace, I'm eyeing up a necklace from the hi-ho stand and then the Henleys at Fairfax and Favour, I definitely want a pair of Henleys, although I have heard there may be new colours in the pipeline so I might have to be patient and wait on that one. Just a few more weeks, but we'll see. If the weather's horrendous, I'm thinking I might need to purchase a pair of their explorers because I'm not risking getting my mirrors muddy. I would like the ground to be dry enough and enough grass coverage, not to worry about my boots getting grubby and muddy and wet, but I'm not holding out much hope with all the rain that we've had recently. Banks has just gone out for a graze now. He's happy, yep, as happy as Larry. As long as he's got grass, he's happy. So I'm going to get a move on. I've got to get all his feeds mixed up and ready, make sure his bed's all set for the week so they only have to skip it out whilst I'm away. Do as many hay nets as I can, get the hay nets all ready because they're still in at the moment. We've had that much rain that there's not a hope of me putting them out 24 seven yet because the ground is just mud. So over and out from me, I will hopefully see lots of you at badminton, obviously on the hi-ho stand. Keep an eye on the Insta stories and you'll find out exactly where we are and come say hi if you see me. Over and out, bye-dee-bye, enjoy badminton and enjoy the shopping waste of all people. Never mind the competing, enjoy the shopping.